of this granite here. We have against Coventry City. In the arena final of the leasing.com trophy. And if we win here, we are pretty much guaranteed to win the the entire thing so this is our last major hurdle because I'm gonna play the final if we get to it let's just make it a save just in case the game freezes because it's been freezing quite a lot today let's uh, go for it okay we are into the final and it's against Blackpool who I believe are in League 2 which means we're gonna hands down win the final. What I might do is we'll simulate. When is the final? Where is the final actually? Where is the final? Is it not drawn yet? No. But that's the probably the honestly the only update you're gonna get. We're gonna check really quick the leagues. I'm pretty sure Blackpool are in League Two, so if they are then I'm gonna play it. I'm just going to put it on beginner and do a 1 0 uh, draw. 1 0 win. Yeah. If they are here with us in League 1, though, on the other hand, where is League 1? If they are here in League 1, what I will do is I will submit to see the winner. And if we win, I will go and play it on beginner and do a 1 0. Yeah, Blackpool are right there. <laughs> or actually, have we played Blackpool at all this season yet? Because if we have, we are just gonna simulate it. If we beat Blackpool, then there's no point simulating because we'll beat them again. We've not. Have we really not played Blackpool? We've. Had, oh, there they are, Blackpool. Win three two. That's Luton. There's Luton again. Uh, no Blackpool there. No Blackpool there. Oh, there, Blackpool. Okay, so we're just going to play the final. Win it 1 now. And depending on what the next clip will be, the next clip will either be when one of our training players hits. Either a milestone, basically, or uh, at the next game, which I determine is needed. We're already at the next clip. So, this guy has got a 2.2 million release clause, and he is worth 4.4. I've got the scout out. Wait, why are you, you, you here? Get out. And you're here because you're a... I'm scouting the free agents, but the players that are almost out of contracts. The pre-contracts, that's it. I'll see you guys for the next clip. There we go. See you at the next clip. And here we are at the next clip of the video. We've got a couple of Four pre-contracts, it looks like. Yep. This guy is... He wouldn't even... Wait, what are we looking at? We're looking at pre-contracts because it is time. He would get in. But would he need to get in is the question. So this guy is 64. This guy can go immediately. He's not worth it. This guy is 67, he could get in. This guy is 79. For pre contracts, we're gonna see if we can pick him up. This guy's not good enough. Um, I already looked at him. 
and this guy is probably not going to be good enough come the end of the season, so we're just going to bin him off as well. But this is the reason we're here for this clip, it's Fleet One! I hope, honestly, this could be where we win the league if we win this game here. We do beat Fleetwood. Oh, that's probably the league. That game right there. Because we are now six points clear. No, five points clear of Wigan predicting that they'll win their next game. We've got a shit ton of scout reports again. We've got another training session. And I think we've got to do something about after we check these, see if there's if we have we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scout reports. We've got a s no face, not interested. This guy could be worth money, but he's twenty eight, so not interested. This guy is sixty eight eight, he's a left back, we've already got a left back. Not interested. This guy is seventy four rated. We're, we'll, we'll certainly pick look at him because he is young this guy is 78 rated and young we'll look at him this guy is a bit too old at 27 and this guy here can go as well that is that for the clips and as you see let's, uh, let's get to the first so we can check the youth squad report who's injured Kini is injured for four weeks, okay. Okay, so, yeah, they're looking good. He's looking decent. He's looking like a god. Our second choice keeper. And yeah, we are five points clear. I will see you guys at the next clip. Okay, so we are back for another clip. This is a really quick clip. I've sent out the scouts on some pre-contracts, we've got all of the, apart, apart from this guy, why is this guy not scouting? I want to recall him, that's why. Okay, so we've got basically all of the, like, we've got Bundesliga, Bundesliga 2 and Bundesliga 3 all being scouted here. When this guy comes back, I'm going to continue the Bundesliga scouts. So we've found a massive, massive free agent right here in Kai Havertz. And just wait, that's where that said he was, his contract was expiring, yes he did. So why on earth is he trying to make me buy him and not sign him? You know, he's talking to the manager, but he's got... Oh, because he's 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just offer one power for him and see what they say. He's not quite old enough. That's the uh, that's the thing. So so what we will do... Is the one I can't believe is Mbappe actually will leave. That's probably going to be our pretty good contract. That is a major one. So what we'll do is we'll add Kai Havertz to the shortlist there. Maybe he'll turn up. There's nothing there, and... Wait, there was a got one guy left there. 23. Yep. Yeah. I'll send this count for that. I'm going to go check these and I'll be back for the next clip. Okay, so here with Janice. Oh, no, it wasn't Janice one. It was this guy. The, the, who was the who was the one last free agent? Uh, he was a young. This guy with, with Hogma. That's all of... The Bundesliga, Bundesliga 2 and Bundesliga 3 all scouted for free agents that I'm willing to take. I will tell you guys if there's any major free agents there. See you then, peace. Okay, so we've got our next update for the in the training sessions. Radio right here just went up to 70, so that's the update, but that's not just the only update. We are, we are going to win League One. <coughs> but by 
my mile. Still seven games left. Once again, I will play the final home game of the season so that we get to lift the trophy. So I will play this game against Wickham. That's it for the update right now. I'll see you guys for the next one. Okay, look, we're being shafted again. Starting 11 and subs, yeah? Because they're all on internationals, which means we're going to have to... Simulate here. Wait, do I see that right? We don't have any subs. <laughs> well, we did, we had two subs. This is the Leasing.com Trophy Final. Oh, because what's his face has been called to a. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Internationals. And that's another update. He's up to 75 now. Is what's going to happen here. I want to see us lift the trophy. So what I am going to do is I'm going to... Well, yeah, let's see that right. We've got an injury to... Oh, a striker. Yeah, it is the, oh, it's the first, I didn't even realise. Um, so do we have any... Well, we're going to have to promote the right back at this point. Yeah. Nothing else there. We've been offered a manager role. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to talk to these. Save it. Simulate it. Okay, thank you for your patience. We'll start taking questions now. And if we win, I'm going to go and play it. On beginner, with the exact same score that we win by, and leave it AFK. So I go. We should win it, considering we've beat Blackpool every time we've played them this season, so. Let's go. And we win 2 now. So, we'll see you when we lift the trophy. Okay, so for the next clip, it's the Bundesliga. Bundesliga 2 and Bundesliga 3, all of the the players that are out that are going to expire on pre-contracts are not there apparently. Okay. Not good enough. 72 right back. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Ooh, 74 though. Still good for a backup, so we'll put him in the last. Not good enough, not good enough. And we've got more scarapos here. No. 72 striker. What do you think about that? No. Oh, I missed that, but I'm taking. And this guy? Not really. Um, and then. On top here, 58 is too little. Still it's not enough. Not enough. Nine off, nine off, nine off, nine off, nine off, nine off. Seventy three on the other hand. We'll add him because he's worth four million and he's pretty close to him. Now I'm gonna go and do La Liga and the other leagues. 
we will see you guys for the next cut. So far the only one that's took out from the city air that's on a pre-contract doesn't even need to be scouted, it's Benedeschi. Found another player that needs to be doesn't need to be thing, we'll add him to the last. There hasn't been many pre-contracts here in the uh, this city air though. It's not a pre-contract, but this one shocked me here. Yeah, Fabian is a uh, 18 owner overall. But it's looking like we... Oh, we got this guy. He might not run out of contracts in time, but... It's going to be a really quick searching, because I'm only looking for 25 and under, so... Other major one, who's one down Berlin. We, we are in the... At this point, the La Liga, which checks basically everyone in the uh, Syria. Sorry, La Liga, the Syria. Yeah, and everyone in Casio. And unfortunately, there were no biggies. So yeah. So, we have just been crowned as the champions of League One here. So I am going to go and play, as you can see, we are 8 points clear with 2 games available. I'm going to go and play this final game, this home game, to be lifted as, we are crowned as championess. I will see you guys for the celebrations at the end. So before I end this season I'm going to be doing some regen searching as well. Regen slash pregen searching. And as you can clearly guess by as right now we're looking we're looking to see if we can find Ibra's regen. He'll have a regen face, so. It'll be him. Olsen is Ibra's regen. Yeah, I'm doing some. Uh, Regen research now. See you guys for the next clip. Oh, I'm going to throw this right in there. I'm also going to look for some pregens, which are randomly generated regens of players that haven't retired. So, yeah, I'll see you guys. I found a regen here in the Premier League, who I believe to be Seamus Coleman's regen. So, we're going to send the scout, scout boy out. I'm just looking through the regions right here. Up in there. And for goalkeepers, that would be no. So here we have a goalkeeper that I believe to be as the Neuer, the Manuel Neuer regen. Or he might even be Neuer's pre gen right there. So we are going to. Check this real quick, and it is Neuer's pre-gen. As you see, Neuer is still there. He's a German goalkeeper playing for Bayern Munich with hat with, with an exciting prospect, which will be 85 to 90. And Neuer's potential is 88. So that is a Neuer pre-gen, and that is the example of a pre-gen. They will always be playing in the same position of the player that they've been regenerated from but they'll be playing for the same team and the player that they've been regenerated from will still be there okay so i'll see you guys for the next one right so another clip here basically we lost to spurs and spurs went on <coughs> 
to win the FA Cup. So, it's all great there, to be honest. It's all gravy, friends. The gravy train. That's really it. Yeah. Okay, the newest update is Callahan, as you can see there. Has just hit 80 overall, which is exactly what I was trying to train him to. So he is going to be finished on the training. So what I will do is I will skip one week to the Sunday and put someone else on. And we'll do that right here in this clip of the video. Well, basically at the end of season now we've got a monthly report thing. Nothing around there. For a trainer. We'll find out together who won the Champions League as well. Well, he's up to 78. We're going to take him away. Then put him in. And I'll see you guys for the next clip. So we just did our final scout report, and I'm going to leave this one edited. We've got an Argentinian cam, which is interesting. He's not, he's kind of okay, but he's whatever. We've got a, another cab, but he's too low rated now. Left wing, which is decent. Another cab, another thing there. And the Ibrahimovic regen is 74 rated. We've got more free agent crap. These are all uh, pre-contracts, by the way. I'm trying to get us ready for our push at the championship. Not good enough. Three raid CDM. He's not good enough. He's not good enough. This guy is decent, so he'll go ahead. ETS isn't quite old enough yet. And so that, guys, is the end of this. So what we're going to do is we are going to do our... Yeah, Murphy's been called. So they called for Murphy, but they didn't call for White. I don't understand this game sometimes. We are almost to the end of the season. We are going to go for probably two pre-contracts, I think, this season. Let's do like here. Okay, let's stop it on like this one day. I've got a bunch more scout reports as well. 75 rated. A few. He's there. He's, he was 75. You're 82. So the Neuer regen is 82 rated already. Pre-gen, sorry. Yeah. And what we've got here, we'll go to the top, is the Seamus Coleman. They're all dead. They're all quite simply not good enough. But we are here for the final training session of the season. And because it's the final training session of the season, what I'm going to do is load it up, save it as 7, or it should be 6, or whatever. Um, same it. That goes up to almost 90. Every defender is that. And we are here because last season we didn't sign any pre-contracts. 
this season. I think we're going to go and sign some pre-contracts. Oh my god. 1.9 million wage budget. Right, I'm going to make a double save here. Over the money back up. And the money. You guys know there was a massive, massive, massive break contract that we could pick up. And I'm going to go ahead and try to see if we can get that look at right now to pick up Kylian Mbappe as a pre-contract. And Ousmane Dembele as well. Approach the sign. Oh, it won't let me delegate the sign of time, okay. You want to fucking ask him that? Crucial. Yes. No release clause, I'm happy with that. Please don't ask me to give you wages. It's 220. Do I really only have. I don't have the money. I have minus wage budget still. to storm off out of the room. Fucking insulting him with a £1,000 a week wage. I believe it. it says we have a million. We clearly don't, do we? Clearly don't have 1.9 million wage budget. yet. Money, damn belly. You can wait too long, that's the problem. Yes. as well. It's going to be another season where we don't get a pre-contract in it. 17. Okay, unfortunately them two are out of the question now. Okay, so I guess we're going another season here without a pre-contract, aren't we? So I will see you guys basically here season then. Peace. Okay, so we have got a clip here. We have gone back in time because loading up the last season I did manage to 
offer somebody 700,000 a week. So I think it is glitched in terms of I can delegate but I just can't offer the wage. So what I'm going to do here is do everything up and I want to see if by delegating when it comes to the time to uh, sign the players, if by delegating we can get Mbappe and Usman Dembele. But I'm going to do everything the exact same as well. Like, but instead now I'm skipping by calendar, I'm not bothering with the pre-contracts because we didn't get any. But if we do get Mbappe, if it does work, we can get Mbappe and Usman Dembele. I'll take it. If it does work, and then we'll be going to have two major signings next season. I don't want to do this, but I'm only trying this because I was able to delegate such a high contract to the uh, to one of the guys, and actually got away with it as well. So this is what we're going to do. We've got to leave enough time. That was the problem, I think, last time. I didn't leave enough time to delegate. Do. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna do white. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and as you see it worked last time. We have one million wages. We're going to go to our transfer list. We're going to go Kylian Mbappe. We're going to go. It won't let me delegate. It's still not enough time. Or is the game smart? And it won't let me do what I want to do. Okay. So I'm going to quickly load up again. Season, so continuing out on a load. The it will be this auto safe here. I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna see if it works now. If not, then we can't, and I will see you in the next season. Like this is a month earlier. We can delegate. Boy, not here, it's not gonna work. So we just need to leave enough time. So we're gonna do we're gonna see start at 320 and go to 369 and we can see what Mbappe says. And if this works I'm gonna go ahead and Go to the next season without training. I'll take the Mbappe accepted. Mbappe accepted. So we now have Kylian Mbappe. And 
we've still got another 400k, which means we can get our second free contract, and it will be Wuzman Dembele. What's he on? 240. So we can do 240 and 3. I didn't expect this though. And this is why I'm. So the keeper wants out, okay. We're gonna go and. Actually, I will go and train through the season as well. Just so the overalls are the same. It only makes sense. But the fact that we're gonna. We're gonna have Mbappe. And what looks like Usman Dembele as well next season. I'm going to care about this guy, of course. We're waiting on a certain somebody to. And he's accepted. 240k. There you go. Mbappe. And do his one day for next season. I will see you guys next season. No way they can let this slip down. Oh, is up? Absolutely up? dominant. One game, it's 3 0. Let's have another look at this. He wasn't expecting the ball, but when it comes to him, he chooses early to volley it. Just what a finish. Well, if there were any lingering down to the young garment, surely they so know. Shut up and let you guys enjoy the Leasing.com Trophy celebrations. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yep, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, it's these moments, Derek, when you get your hands on the silverware. And that little medal that goes around your neck might seem small now, but you'll look back at that and show your grandkids absolutely superb memories these players will have of this game. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Yeah, it's been a long, old road to get to this point. They're going to celebrate now and certainly celebrate long into the night, I think. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now... They save on the moment. And this is really special. Getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team. Now they get to join in the celebrations. There we go. I'm going to do the press conference. And that will be this part. And you will see in the next one. It'll probably be the. I'm probably gonna put the the league celebrations, the final part of the video, just like I did last season. Yeah, you guys will see that after we've already won the time. Uh, I don't know why I play. Why do you ask these? <laughs> I had to. We all thank you. And that is that, guys. I'll see you. Let's just uh, chuck the train in. Let's uh, I'll do if he's up to 78. See you for the next clip. As you can see, we've basically won now. We are what's that? That's uh, 17. No, seven. 
seven points ahead with a game in hand, so yeah, we'll see you. Peace. Okay, so we will be putting this into the video. We are gonna go for this one so we can get some money. But that is the end of the episode, guys. Peace. Guys, we're here for the celebrations. I'm gonna go ahead and score, score from here. No. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up. for this moment where they can celebrate their considerable accomplishments this season the trophy to be awarded any minute now well there's no better place to receive the accolades coming to you than in front of your own fans giving something back sharing the glory together absolutely fantastic Well, memories, memories for players in these situations, Lee. Well, it's always nice to win any trophy, cup competitions, but when you win your own domestic league, that, to me, is the pinnacle of being a player. Yeah, the table does not lie. And so, the league champions... season the players have but certainly the supporters they've given the players absolutely a hundred percent support all season and this is their reward really a match made in heaven between players and fans and these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time <laughs> Hey, Fleetwood. Fleetwood won. Please tell me Fleetwood are in like six or something. They're going to come up with me as well. Some questions regarding the match. So just like last season guys, you'll see clips on clips on clips. Basically updates. And you'll see the final celebra cup celebrations at the end of the episode. So I will see you guys for the clips, I guess.